what's up guys it's Big Ben Tech and today I'm going to be giving you my full review of the Astro A40s and the 5.8 Mix app. I'm going to be talking about the features, the sound quality, and the build quality. So let's jump right in. The A40s feature both a removable microphone and removable speaker tags. The microphone can be placed on the right or the left ear cup depending upon your preference. And as far as speaker tags go, you can choose from several pre-designed different tags on Astro's website. The speaker tags are held into place by four tiny magnets. The microphone can also swivel up and down and also be adjusted to fit the contour of your face. Another cool feature is this inline microphone at the end of the quick disconnect cable that can be used in place of the standard microphone. There also is a mute button for muting all voice chat right beside the inline mic. The Astro A40s are compatible with both the Xbox 360 and the PS3. However, for a voice chat on the PS3, you are required to buy the voice chat cable separately. In addition to console gaming, the Astro A40s also are compatible with the PC and they ship with all necessary cables for PC gaming. Let's talk a little bit about the build quality. I've had these for about six months now and they've held up really well and that's with me dropping them on the floor a few times. I've even sat on them once by accident and with repeated adjustments. So with all that being said, I think the Astro A40s are built really sturdy and can even take a bit of abuse. Moving on to the Mixamp 5.8, this wireless package consists of both the smaller Mixamp RX and the larger Mixamp TX. On the back of the Mixamp TX, you'll find your standard power ports, USB port, optical in, optical out. You also find a auxiliary port. This auxiliary port is one of my favorite features of the system because you can use it for hooking up your iPod or cell phone and play music through the headphones while you're playing your games. Another really cool feature about this system is you don't even have to use the A40s for this mix amp. You can use any headphones or headset that uses a 3.5 millimeter jack and you can still use this mix amps to play your games. Two accessories I can highly recommend for your system would be the rechargeable battery pack for your Mixamp 5.8 and the carrying case for your A40s. This carrying case used to be standard, but now they sell it as an accessory. As far as sound quality goes, the A40s didn't disappoint me. Everything sounded rich and crisp across the entire sound stage. Some may complain that the A40s don't have a lot of bass, but I think it's perfect for online gameplay. And for those that need more bass, there's a bass boost button on the Mixamp RX. So what are my final thoughts on this system, guys? I think all around it's a very solid performer, and I can recommend it to anybody out there who wants a gaming headset. In fact, I think this is one of my favorite gaming headsets I've used so far. And if you guys have followed me, my channel, and my videos, you know I've tried quite a few gaming headsets. Two of the drawbacks with this system is going to be, one, the $279 price tag that's going to keep it out of reach for a lot of people and the second is it's not a 100% completely wireless system. Well this about wraps things up for this review guys. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Check out my channel for more content. As always feel free to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.